Hey there tech enthusiasts, ever struggle with downloading or installing software on your Windows 11 PC? Or maybe you wanted to make sure you are doing it right away without any hiccup. Well, you are in the right place. In this video, I am going to show you exactly how to download, install, update and troubleshoot software on Windows 11 like a pro. First, let's start with the simplest and safest method. Downloading software directly from Microsoft Store itself. It's like having a trusted source right inside your PC. Just open the start menu and search for Microsoft Store and open it. You guys can search application name from here. All right, so let me search for Camo Studio and hit an enter. It's to show you the software just like that and hit an install. And as you guys can see that Windows has handled rest for you and it's that easy and no worry about sketchy downloads and anything. Now, what if the software you need isn't on Microsoft Store? That's when we can use browsers. So now let's go ahead and open up the Google Chrome or whatever browser that you have. So just open it up. Now you can search for any software. For example, let's say VLC Media Player. But here's a pro tip. Stick to trusted website like official software page, for example, the video land org, which is VLC itself. Or you can also download this software from well known platform like File Hippo and GitHub. So you can also open up the official website and simply click on download VLC. Make sure that you have find this download button and it should instantly download you. As you guys can see that. Now that you guys have downloaded the file, it's time to install it. Head over to your downloaded folder. You can click on this folder and double click this file to install and then simply click on OK and click on Next and Terms to be agree here. So just click on Next and click on Next and click on Install. So there you go. We have completed the VLC media player setup, but make sure that you guys haven't checked any kind of extra software offers that you guys don't need easy peasy as it is. So you can now run this VLC. As you guys can see, it's just working perfectly fine. Keeping your software up to date is very crucial for security and performance. Let's walk through how to do that. So first go to Windows setting and head over to Windows update. But this is where all your PC updates are managed. Check for any updates here and Windows will handle rest. And once the update is completed, it should show you you are up to date. For software downloaded from web, you might need to update it manually. Let me show you how you can do it. So first open up the VLC. For this instance, I'm going to open the VLC because we have just installed this. So head over to the help and you can see right there is a check for update. The most of the software, the check for update option is given on to the help or on about. So for example, on a Brave browser here, it is on help and it's on about as you guys can see it's checking for all up there now the verb is up to date for chrome you can do the same thing go to help and about chrome and there you go updating chrome right now since i'm updated right now so now it's updating and this is how it should update the browser or any software that you have downloaded from the web now it's asking me to relaunch to finish updating so just click on relaunch. And that's how you update your software that you have downloaded manually from web. Remember though, keeping your system up to date is essential for keeping your PC secure and running it smoothly. If your app install but crashes or doesn't run right, you should try updating your system or reinstall the whole software itself. Sometimes running the app in compatible mode for older version of the Windows can also help you. So to do that, you can go to the software executable file. So right click there that you have downloaded this VLC or whatever software and go to properties and go ahead and click on this compatibility. And from here, you need to click on run this program in compatible mode and you can choose any of these Windows version list and that might work for you. So for example, let's try with this Windows 7 and click on apply and press on OK. And click on yes. So by doing this, you can also run the setup. And before we wrap up, let's talk about a few tricks to make your software installation experience smoother. Have you ever heard of WinGet? It's a built-in Windows package manager. You can install software directly from command line. 
super hard for power users. It's a holy grail for tech enthusiasts. Just open up the command prompt first. And type here winget if you have winget installed to check the winget. So you can see that we have installed winget. So if you haven't installed winget, I would recommend you guys to go to Google and type here winget CLI. And go to the first link here, which is Microsoft Winget CLI. And this software is developed by Microsoft itself. So you can download from the release pack or you can scroll down a little bit. And you can go here and install from the recommended source, which is app installer. And it should open up the Microsoft store for you. So you can see here and there we go. So you click on install and open up the Microsoft store. And then you need to install this application. So you should see the install button. So just go ahead and install this and you are ready to go and go to the command prompt once again and try typing here win get and hit an enter and it should work same as on mine so to install software from this command line it's very simple using winget to install some software you need to type is winget install and the software name that you like for example let's say firefox i wanted to install firefox here so install firefox so just type winget install firefox and it should scan and search for firefox and you will need to copy the ID here. You can either copy this ID or this, all right, the Mozilla.Firefox. So what you need to do here is winget install. Just copy this ID by double clicking and it's been copied right now. So right click to paste and hit an enter. And now it's installing Firefox and it's also asking you to agree the terms or no. To be able to install Firefox, you need to press Y and hit an enter and you can see that it's installing and well there you go we have successfully installed Mozilla Firefox so you can also launch Firefox now from the command by typing on Firefox and you can see it just installed it for us very fresh and clean so it's that simple guys and that's it if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more tech tips and tutorials if you got any questions then drop them in the comments down below i will help you out thanks for watching i will see you guys in the next one peace